and and what when did you when did you start blowing? How old were you? And I uh, started blowing, in, I think, uh, in June 1946. How old were you? Yeah, I think it's a little bit less than 12 years old. How were you introduced to glass art? Mm, myself. Yourself? No mother, no father? No, 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 no. My mother no like the blowing glass. And then uh, put, push me one direction is that the furniture, something like this, I don't like. I prefer a blowing glass. And I choose like this. Right away, early in life? Yes, right away. I think uh, absolutely right away. Without, uh, no, no, I like it very much. Also because all the, my friends go and go in the factory. It's not for money, ma, I don't know. Also because um, in the past I saw one, in the, in the back, the one furnace, one great master, uh, the, I think, uh, making incredible pieces. And then I watching, and then I decide uh, the one time I want to make uh, one pieces like this. And then I want to try, and then it's uh, very interesting for me uh, make uh, this pieces. My decision, I think, is uh, the when I saw uh, blowing the first time in my life, uh, like a joke, we play soccer in, the, in this place, and then one o door open, and then a little bit dark, everything. And then uh, we find the incredible, uh, incredible view, this fire, the smoke, uh, the beautiful pieces, like uh, the truly stuff. Uh, the many, and then I decide, okay, I want to make uh, the pieces like this. So did you have to apprentice for several years before you were allowed to go out on your own? Yeah, really, that's a lot of very long apprenticeship. I started practically before 12 and, and finish the apprenticeship, really apprenticeship, I finish maybe around 25, 25, 26. But you know, the apprenticeship is never finished. You, you have a change, a little bit range, a little bit steps. But it's never finished the apprenticeship. When you look around the world, for example, you saw many people work in different way and make a beautiful pieces. So it's not important the technique, but the technique is absolutely important. Now the philosophy is more important, but the philosophy and technique together is fantastic. And then is no. For me, I think uh, the apprenticeship, uh, the time, for example, if we have one step is around uh, 12, 21, 25, 30. I think uh, one master in Murano is a master completely, not completely, but is at the best age, is around 40. Around 40, I think, is the best age. We have the controlled hands. And the, the ends, the, 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 the connection, brain, ends together. And then you know enough, uh, if you study enough, it's necessary study, it's necessary to try, it's necessary a uh, little bit open mind. I think around four years, I think, is one good age for, uh, for, for make a good master. So when you were 12 years old, you started blowing glass. How did you enter into the glass world? Who introduced you? Ah, the, for example, I start, uh, the fear I started the stupid work, open, close the mold. Then I met one old man. The name is a Piccolo Ryoda, a little bit fat, short. And they make a Venetian mirror, a little part. And then uh, he, he, he showed me work and they asked me if you want to follow him around in the factory because he borrowed the studio, one pot, he worked one factory, another factory. And then I spent maybe six months together. And then uh, for me it's a fantastic experience because a very nice man, uh, this wife, uh, Charlotte, Carlotta, is uh, taking me like a song. And they teach me the, the light ends. It's a very important, for example, uh, when I was young, 
uh, for me is a very important uh, to make small pieces, small bits. And then my hands always, and then if you make uh, incredible heavy pieces, one moment after it's possible to make uh, light pieces. I think because I start with the small bits, no giant pieces. I think it's very important for me. So do you want to continue blowing glass the rest of your life? Or do you, well, do you see yourself retiring? No, 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 no. I would like absolutely blowing all the rest of my life. I would like uh, the, my dreams. I have a very, very small studio, a little bit more bigger than one kitchen. Uh, the American Glory Hall, one pot, uh, something like this, or only pots. And they make uh, some glass, uh, I don't know, but no bigger. And they maybe work with uh, somebody came, but I want to uh, meet new people. And at the same time, I want to work. I want to work every day, if it's possible. Or, or for example, I like work every day, but I like also traveling every day. I think that my life is uh, no uh, working only. I want uh, also a good life. And for example, in Seattle, I met uh, Benjamin Moore. He's a very nice friend for me. And then he teaches me the very good life. And uh, music, uh, and nice food. Uh, and then we work. And this one is a very important. Maybe sometime in Murano, we don't have uh, some vision. We have uh, too close to the glass. And then maybe after glass, we go in the, the Osteria. And my, not necessary. I think it's uh, very much better for me uh, after this, after work, uh, talking a little bit, uh, take a shower, um, go around, uh, watching. I think uh, I like a lot of, for example, work. I want to work. I don't know. Do you have any children? I have three children. As one daughter, one daughter, two boys, and two grandsons. I think uh, my, my son don't blow glass. My daughter uh, is a mommy. He's a, the two grandson. He said don't blow glass. But he's the only the family. She won't blow glass, really. She wants to try. She wants to come to Pilchak. She wants to come in one small studio. She wants to try teaching. She wants to blow glass. The only the family is the family they ask the blowing. Maybe Jacopo, my grandson, uh, became a glass blower. I don't know, I hope. I hope. Is, is he showing an interest? Yes, always when we blowing, uh, sit on the bench, uh, turn the pipe, and uh, he work in lamp work. He always he said, I must, I must work. I must work. I must work. <laughs> How old is he? I think around six. Now we are at the primary school. It's very nice. It's very nice. I want to ask one question. Deo, I like to work with Deo for, for three reasons. But for many reasons. It's no one reason more important than another. But I think I like to work with Deo because Deo gives me the freedom. And then is. He asked me, and then we speak together, he gave me some input in my mind. And then never there, for example, ask me, give, ask me one shape. And then never draw me one shape. And then the proportion um, is my feeling, the proportion. And then they are giving me this chance. Mm -hmm. um, when you work with the other artist, mostly the time is more, very difficult because uh, the mind is very close. And there is a uh, the very open mind. Sometimes, uh, no, I like it very much the idea. Also, there is a nice man, nice friend. Uh, you know, sometimes work with the friends is more difficult than work with the other people. But in this case, with Deo, it's uh, not like this because I have an incredible respect credit for him because I think he's a great artist. At the same time, I have a respect uh, um, for your life. And then, uh, I like, uh, I have a very nice feeling with you there. Absolutely nice feeling. 
concrete feeling. I have a lot of feeling with the other people, a lot of artists, but it's a different feeling. With the Deo is a very concrete, a very concrete guy, very, well, it's nice. I, I noticed on the tape that Terry had shot at the boathouse with you and Dale, that Dale will draw the design and you know, you talk, you collaborate about the design, and yet I think too you take part of the design of Dale's and part of your own design sure. that, in your mind that comes sure. from it. Yeah. And it, it's beautiful what comes yeah, out of it. Yeah, I think uh, the, for me, I know I know nice idea I know clear idea about the Venetian series but I think uh, the idea of the Venetian series is a great idea because everybody speak about that and the many people uh, no like and many people like I think it's a very interesting maybe we I don't know exactly maybe they don't know we, what is important, this, uh, this collaboration is a very important, uh, the important work together. What happened after we work together? I think it's an interesting, interesting question. For me, uh, some people uh, told me, what happened? What are you doing? It's incredible what we make. And then I say, yes, maybe, I don't know. But it's interesting, interesting because, uh, for example, the curator of the museum and in uh, North Europe is uh, absolutely happy about the glass, the very strong uh, material, because in the deal is a shape, is a material, is a technique, is a proportion. Sometimes it's terrible, but sometimes I think it's a fantastic. Huh. Is Dale, is Dale the only person that you've ever collaborated with on your glass art? No, 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 no. I think I have a nice collaboration with uh, Dan Daly. Dan Daly and the very, very other few people. But the only uh, with Dan Daly have the signature together. With Dale don't have the signature together. And Dale is the the honor, the, 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 the everything, the, the pieces. The, and then we have a, maybe, it's very strange because maybe I have a more feeling with the Deo, the other artist. And thing is very important like this. But, you know, it's difficult to say. Uh, I think Deo, I have respect for me, I love Deo. But Deo is a, a one artist, is a, the, always the center of the world. The center. And then for me, I, I believe in I, 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 I agree about that. And that because Deo choose the older responsibility, the pieces. For example, Deo, when uh, put the pieces, sell the pieces, uh, put your name, all the res responsibilities Deo. And then for me, I think uh, it's nice because uh, they are, it's, for me it's possible to play with the class. And then we have a responsibility, the signature. The, they are, is the people don't like it. The people don't like it say, what are you doing? Uh, and they say, okay, but it's nice because, uh, but, okay. <laughs> I hear that um, you're going to be um, having a book put together of your work. With Dale? No, with, no. Um, was it? R Russell. Russell. Yes, we have uh, one idea with uh, the Russell Johnson about uh, the, the make of one book about a glass, about a technique, about many things. And then I think uh, we have uh, one idea, a little bit strange book. No one book, a regular book, where we show only the technique. We show uh, the moment, uh, the, 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 the life in class. I think, as a, for me, it's very important. Uh, the technique is very important. The, how you make these pieces, okay. But the necessary, more important, is a, for me, is the feeling. 
if you have a nice feeling, I think it's much better than uh, many, many, many technique. I was curious too, Lino, the pieces that you did when you when Dale designed those, all the leaves and the swirls and the curlicues, do you incorporate any of that glasswork into your own personal work now? Because looking at your slides, yes, they don't yes. look like any of the Venetian. Nah, you know, maybe you don't slide, no, you don't see the my slide very well. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I don't show all the, my slides, but in the past, for example, I make the coil. The coil for lamps, I design one lamp, uh, giant, I think it's maybe one meter long, incredible coil with the light inside. And then we make, uh, I design one lamp around the same length. I think uh, f like uh, like uh, the Concord, like uh, the elephant uh, horn, and then we make uh, the, the, this one is uh, the, the the prototype. I also designed the, the I designed the past uh, around the 66, uh, 67, one coil for lamps, and then uh, okay, is like this. The other question I had. Um, it seems to me like many of the men that worked with you at the boathouse were and continue to be astounded and they learn from you. They, they're astounded by your work and they are amazed at the way in which you work and everybody feels like they are an apprentice to you. How does that feel for you? Okay, but you know, when you spend the time with uh, some people, and then uh, in this case in the Seattle for me is like the second family, second house, second town. And then <clears throat> we have a, a respect for many people. And then I love these people. It's uh, no work uh, with, uh, I don't know, Benny, Robbie, Brian, Preston. Uh, the people, the workers, is a uh, is a Benny, Robin, Brian, and Preston, and then uh, Charlie. Is the people I love it very much? Do you realize how much you're teaching them in uh, being there? I don't know. Maybe I I learn a lot from them. What I did you, have you? Can you tell me what you've learned from from that? Yes. What? Well, but the, many things, many things, because of the the freedom the. Then I don't know if uh, sometime I give you something uh, to learn. Okay, I am happy. Ma, the, my personal opinion now is uh, the I love these people. I love uh, the, the the feeling. There's a lot of energy there, isn't there? Exactly, and this one's the energy, the concentration. I like uh, the stay together, work together. When we finish, uh, always a little bit sad. You know, it's a uh, very difficult. Uh, for me, sometimes in my life, uh, I think I am very happy when I stay in the plane, when I come out to Venice, and then when I come back to Venice. And then uh, I have uh, many friends in Seattle, my family in Venice. I think it's uh, very important for me, very important, the people, the human person, the stay together, work together. And then when we work, uh, we try the, the little bit joke. We have a personal name, everybody. It's a little bit, uh, a lot of fun, I think. I think for me, I hope also for them.